Hi guys, I'm making one of my favorite dishes. Um, it is a bell pepper dish. You can also make stuffed peppers out of this dish, but we're gonna make it super easy tonight. So stay tuned, follow along and write it down. All right guys, we're gonna start out with some bell peppers. I like to get as many colors in my dishes as possible. So pick a couple colors of bell peppers. I usually do two one white onion and garlic we're gonna start by slicing and dicing and then we're gonna heat up the large skillet with some olive oil and get this going we have chef b in the kitchen with me hi <laughs> he made the quinoa since i always fuck it up for some reason what did you put in the quinoa one cup of quinoa and two <laughs> cups of Wow, super hard. I don't know why Very I... Difficult. I don't know. I mess it up every time. I don't know why, but he makes it really good. So, quinoa. Heating. All right. Slices so they cook up at the same time. And I'm going to try to make the onions in the same size slices. So, I usually use the organic broth with low sodium because that way I can control the amount of salt that goes into my dishes. Just a little hack. And then I have all of my bell peppers in uniform. While I do all my chopping, I like to prepare everything ahead of time. So, I have my white beans here. They're also low sodium and I rinsed and drained these. And I have Brian over here on the garlic. That all my veggies are prepped. I have one pound of spicy hot Italian chicken sausage. I love using chicken sausage because it's just a healthier option. So I'm gonna take these out of the casing and start to heat up a pan. Heating the pan up to medium high, and then I'm just gonna splash some olive oil. And here is a sausage that has been removed from the casing. I'm going to transfer that over to the pan, kind of break it up and cook it all the way through. I can cook up all the veggies and all of that flavor. And I'm just kind of breaking it up as it cooks. You can hear the pan sizzling away and the sausage is cooking. So we're just going to brown this up. Right after this is cooked, I'm going to transfer it to a small plate and remove the meat. I'm going to leave all the sausage juices in here. So, so, whoa, the quinoa has been cooking for 15 minutes and now Brian's just going to kind of fluff it up with a spoon or a fork, whatever you have. And then that's just going to sit to the side as we Okay guys, so if you wanted to do the stuffed bell peppers, you could take a full bell pepper, chop off the top, and then kind of remove the ribs from the inside. Um, you would stuff it then with your sausage, quinoa, beans, and onions, which would all be kind of sauteed together. And then you could put it in the oven. But that takes a lot of time, so we're just gonna leave out the stuffing part and kind of just make one big dish. As this is cooking, I'm going to trim up some asparagus I'm also going to use this, but it doesn't take this long. This doesn't take a long time to cook. Here's our cooked sausage on our plate, and then I've added a little bit of oil to the pan. There's not a lot of fat in chicken sausage, so all the nice bits in there. Now the veggies are going in with some salt and I've showed you guys this trick before, but I have my wash asparagus and I'm just going to break it towards the end. And this is the part you do not want to eat. This is the part that will be super tender. You can take the rest of your asparagus and chop it at the same size. Just like that. After a couple of minutes, we're gonna add in our garlic because you don't wanna burn it. And we're just gonna cook the garlic through for about another couple of minutes. And then I've chopped my asparagus into thirds, so bite-sized pieces. A couple more minutes later, you wanna add your asparagus. It doesn't take that long to cook. I'm probably gonna add the meat back in right now. 
and the beans. I'm just gonna get everything in the pan. As this cooks, I'm going to get my Italian parsley and just roughly chop probably like a half a bunch of this so I can toss that in for some nice flavor. Okay, I'm just gonna start scooping in my quinoa and kind of tossing it. I don't want a ton of it because I don't want it to take over. 